Look What's Cooking is brought to you by the Culinary Institute of Virginia. Hi, I'm Bonnie Johnson here with Chef John Maxwell from the Culinary Institute of Virginia, and I always ask you your title. I'm the Director of Food Service Management Education. We run a bachelor's degree program here in food service management. So if you want more information, chefva.com for that. But what about this? Tell us what you made. This is a great little holiday appetizer item. It's Moroccan spiced meatballs with a saffron sauce. Uh, saffron's kind of expensive, so we've got a lot of other spices in there too, but this is what gives it that yellow color. Okay, tell us how you make them. Well, we mix some rice and some ground beef, a, a, a typical grocery store blend, 80-20 uh, ground beef, and some cinnamon and some paprika and some cumin and some turmeric. Uh, garlic and shallots, mix those all up with a little bit of rice and fry them off in a skillet. And we added uh, a little bit of stock, beef stock or chicken stock. I used chicken stock when I made these. Mm -hmm. right, and then some cream and reduce that down a little bit so that it's got a, a reasonably thick sauce. And these are great with a, on a toothpick at the holiday time. Now I ask you why you used rice as opposed to breadcrumbs. Well, I think it gives it a better flavor. Also, rice is much more traditional in Morocco than breadcrumbs would be. They use a lot of flatbread for picking up and dipping, but they don't really have a lot of breadcrumb recipes. So um, they use rice to stuff peppers and, and things of that. It's pretty typical. And cooked rice. And cooked rice. Huh? Now you can make these with raw rice. It takes longer to cook. but uh, We like it to be quick for the holidays. One other thing you were mentioning, and this is just because he's a wealth of knowledge, the lemon, you said something about curdling. Right. So lemon is a high acid, so I want the citrus flavor in there, and so I use some lemon zest and some lemon juice, uh, but if you add it too soon, it can have a tendency to curdle your cream. See, I don't know things like this. If you don't know things like this, you can actually come to the Culinary Institute. ChefVA.com is their website. Go on to Casual Gourmet, and you can learn things. It's really interesting. If you want this recipe, WTKR.com. Look what's cooking.